Hello everyone. Today there are big changes on my motorbike. There are several smaller things in this pack. There is. Oops. Yeah, chainsaw. It's always good. So there is this A service plastic guard thing. And there is a riser for the handlebar, which actually lowers it two centimeters. And why is this good? Better attack position because I'm small. And there is the biggest upgrade today. And this is this. Yeah, this is a new rear shock from the tractive suspension. So what's really important in this new rear shock is the double speed compression dampening uh, settings. And one for the low speed when you just ride and it just moves up and down. And the other one, this one, for the bigger jumps. So you, if you jump bigger and your compression just bottoms out, you must set it uh, independent from the normal use of the suspension. So first, let's go and change on the motorbike the ugliest uh, part yet. <laughs> the water pump guard plate thing. Oh. Uh, it's a pretty long one. Okay, the next ones. Yeah, just like that. So uh, this is how it looks after one year use. Ah, not the most beautiful one. So let's continue. I already removed the boards. And this one comes right here. It already looks perfect. I start with this shortest bullet because it looks a little bit problematic. Yeah. Then the last one. Not sure why. This is my preference. Maybe just hold the whole thing together. And then this one, right here. Okay. And the last one to the bottom. Yeah. So let's pull them. Yeah. <clears throat> As you can see, 12 newton meters, I think so. There is no Loctite for these ones, so set this thing to 12. Let's see, it's 11. Ah, uh, something like this. It's all done and looks beautiful. Ah, looks very really good. And now let's change the most important part of the motorbike, the rear shock. So there is the old one. This one will be exchanged for this. <laughs> remove the rear shock, you must remove these two bolts here. 
and this mat club. And you need also remove these three bolts and this side panel, which is connected also here behind with some plastic and gummy thing, which can be broken pretty easily. So take attention for that. And after removing this, you can reach the upper bolt of the rear shock. And you must also remove these three joints. And yeah, this one with 17 key, this one with 14. Uh, you must definitely clean them before taking them apart, the dog bones, bolts. And also don't forget to loop the bearings inside because they tend to stuck. Yeah, clean everything well, and when you are done, just assemble everything back again. You don't need anything else to tinkering around. And when you are done, you have this beautiful suspension working just perfectly. So, why didn't I change these clamps and lower the handlebar two centimeters as I told you? Uh, I tried it, <laughs> I failed. Just because, um, well, the reason, first of all, the handler where I bought it from sent me two short uh, bolts for it, but that was not a problem. I bought uh, very good ones, two centimeters longer, and now it fits. But what doesn't fit? Unfortunately, <clears throat> the Acerbis uh, handguard holding thing, this metal part here, this just, yeah, hits here when I put lower and back. And when I put it lower and forward, because that one is eccentric and I can even move forward and backward the handlebar, which is very good. So, but in this case, when I put it forward position, it, this part here, this one, directly hits this part here. Yeah, the dashboard. So it's very unfortunate. And yeah, it needs a lot of tinkering. And yeah, I didn't do it yet because I prefer riding motorbike. <laughs> Maybe some weekend when the weather will be very bad, then I will come back and yeah, continue this work because I really would like to try this motorbike with a lower handlebar. The recording, so let's go. <laughs> I think, <laughs> where am I here? So, I think I must relearn to ride this bike. This suspension is so good. <laughs> and, and they are not sponsoring me. I bought this suspension for a really, really expensive. But if you can do it, if you just can buy it because you don't need it for for cake. <laughs> if you need it for bread, then you must keep the money. But if you, if you, if you just need this money for cake, then don't buy cake. Don't buy a ticket to the cinema. Don't go to party one night. Just, just get it and ride, ride, ride because it's awesome. Oh my God, I love it. Suspension, I got a big deal. 
and it's all day long on a chaise long, on a chaise long, on a chaise long. <laughs> 